Hey there friends and fellow picksters, the live stream is coming right up so you guys should sit down, kick back, maybe grab a, grab a cold one and enjoy the wait. And if you're a fan of elevator music, well you're in luck because you could expect about 10 minutes of it. I'm so excited, I can't wait to see what Piggy says when he goes live. Hey there friends and fellow picksters, the live stream is coming right up so you guys should sit down, kick back, maybe grab a, grab a cold one and enjoy the wait. I'm so excited, I can't wait to see what Piggy says when he goes live. How could you see into my eyes like open doors leading you down into my core where I've become so numb without a soul? My spirit's leaping somewhere cold until you find it there and lead it back, back home. Wake me up inside. Wake me up inside. Call my name and save me from the dark. Bid my blood to run before I come undone. Save me from the nothing that I've become. Is this, is it seriously doing it again? Is it doing the, uh, the butcher, is it doing butcher meme? Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Is this seriously? Because I'm monitoring the audio. You see this? This is a monitor of the audio and I could hear myself and I sound perfectly fine. So if you, um, Oh my goodness. Don't say that, dude. Don't say that, dude. I'm gonna have to restart this. Don't say that shit, dude. I don't know what I did last time. I think last time I also uh, restarted it. Although I don't believe you, to be honest. I don't believe you. You could be fucking with me. Does the voice actually sound like Bane? Is that what's happening? I wanna die, honestly. Like, I wanna kill myself. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Paul Richie. I believe you. Because um, last time I did that thing where my voice was uh, fairly deep for some odd reason. Do you not hear it like this? No, I don't. I don't hear it like this. I hear it 
like I hear my own virgin voice. Daniel, I could trust you. I could trust you, Daniel. Do I sound like Bane right now? Or do I sound like a, like a normal individual? <laughs> Is he gonna do the whole thing? Sounding like Stefan. No, that's a, I'm not black. I'm not black, unfortunately. I can't, uh, I can't sound like Stefan. How was Endgame? It was good. It cuts out random and it's super deep. Ugh. Ugh. Don't tell me that. I sound like a deep voice, but... You sound like what Top Notch wants to sound like. I fucking hate you guys. Let me fucking reset the fucking... Okay, I'll be back. I'll be back with this microphone. I can do this. I can do this. My mom lets me... Okay. Is that fucking better? Penis. Penis pump. Penis pump. Penis pump. Audio's off. See, I trust Daniel there. And also Larry. Thank you for that. I don't know if it's uh, back to sounding good. I sound like Al Green. Jesus Christ. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, man. Just finished watching Suspiria. But this dude's way weird. It sounds the same, but I don't mind it. Big balls, piggy. I want to see how I sound like now, man. I don't... Oh, fucking penis. Penis sauce. I got this, dude. I got this. Listen, my mom says... My mom is... My mom's like you guys. My mom doesn't believe... I, I want to die. Okay. Is, that, is this still? Is this st still sounding horrendous? I just finished watching PewDiePie's last video. Uh, as did all of us. As did all of us. Let me see how... Let me see how this sounds here. Let me do this. I'm going to do this. Right here. This is going to be how I determine this shit. Uh, okay. Headphones. Okay, headphones. There you go. I should tune into my stream and see how I sound like. Hold up. I got you, fam. I got you, fam. Seriously, I don't think it, it would be a, an appropriate stream without some form of gratuitous uh, mistakes in audio or video or some other aspect of it. Uh, so let's see this. Pick, pick live. Let's see how I sound. If it's the, the Bane voice. Mistakes in audio or video or some other aspect of it. Uh, so let's see this pig dick live. Let's see how it sound. Yeah, I sound like a... I sound like... I, you know what I sound like? I sound like my, my parents are related. That's what I sound like. I sound like my parents somehow are related. It's done this before, though. That's the thing. It's done this before. I want to die. Okay. It's double deep. Hearing the playback. Yeah, I know. That's the point. I Seriously. Okay. okay. It's double deep. Hearing now it's normal. Yeah, no, that's the point. How did it, it went back normal? That's back. Okay. It's deep. Now it's normal. We're back to puberty. Why the f You ever want to kill like a small army 
of like puppies and just just choke them out and watch their life leave their body hey there hey there welcome welcome aboard to the hot stream 10 minutes thank you thank you brian i appreciate it you cunt uh what do you mean by pewdiepie's last video yeah somebody said uh that they just finished watching pewdiepie's latest video and then they jumped on to find this guy this guy right here that guy right there what's this oh that's the yeah i'm not gonna move that uh, do I think it's the mic? I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is because it's not through the mic. I was just monitoring the audio from there and it sounded hot. But when I put it into the computer, that's when it sounded like shit. So there's something going on there, dog. There's something going on. I don't know what it is. I don't want to be conspiratorial, but uh, I definitely think that there's something happening when it comes to um, maybe maybe somebody hacked this. I don't know. Maybe somebody hacked my shit and uh, is trying to somehow prevent me from streaming but i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna fucking do that uh shit 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 that was something well it was something i wanted to refer to yesterday tomorrow's video just a little bit of a hot preview there's a video coming out tomorrow it's uh why the key card is the greatest thing ever that's pretty much it just a couple different things on it it is the illuminati you know i i, I saw a david ike book i went to barnes and nobles uh yesterday and i saw a david ike book if you don't know who david ike is david ike is uh, a dude that thinks that lizard people are running all the major organizations of the planet so he thinks for example that the queen of england is a lizard person he thought george bush was a lizard person um, he also thought that uh, I, I think uh, Obama was a lizard person, which is a little bit racist, to be honest. Honestly, if we're going to speak frankly, if we're going to talk frankly, like uh, flex like David Icke. Yeah, he said he was Jesus. He went to a talk show in like 1986 uh, where he said that he was Jesus Christ himself. What a great what a great character David Icke is. If you watch, uh, if you look him up on YouTube. There's another, there's actually two things you guys should look up on YouTube. One is David Icke and the other one, uh, obviously after the stream, uh, is this guy right here. His name is Rev, Reverend, I know I spelled that like a fucking, oh my God. I'm just going to spell Rev X, um, Miss, okay, just look up Rev X, Rev X, there you go, Reverend X. Um, what he does is that, oh, mine has a crown, bitch. Mine has a crown. No, no one else has a crown out here. I'm the only one with a crown out here in Pig Cake Land. Um, so Reverend X is a, uh, a preacher on uh, public broadcasting. And uh, he, he recorded himself back in the day preaching to uh, Mystical. Or Mystical? Mystical? I'm going to say Mystical. I thought David Koresh was a real Jesus. That's in uh, RB land. Speaking of RB who just left. David Koresh. No, never mind. That's not. That was uh, the other one. Uh, I was thinking the one in Australia that says that he's Jesus. I forgot what his name is. Him and his hot wife. Uh, David Koresh was the uh, the ones that they kind of like had a whole issue with. The, the army went in there, right? If I'm not mistaken. That was fun. But yeah, he uh, he convinced a group of people that he was... Uh, yeah, Waco. That was Waco. Who's the one in uh, your town, RB? There's one in uh, Australia. That's kind of nuts. But yeah, Waco was uh, the hot one. Where uh, that pretty much led and pushed to the, um, that pushed that whole uh, sovereign citizen movement and really kind of added to the fuel against cops and the, uh, the government. Uh, what's this? I love how my own, oh, okay, never mind. It says pig cake there. Reverend Devon. That's phenomenal. Koresh did do a lot of fucking. Could you imagine being in a cult where the leader says, hey, man, listen, I really find your wife to be very hot. I'm going to fuck your wife. And pretty much you're like, mm, all right, I guess since that's what the Lord wants, the Lord wants me to uh, let you have sex with my wife. Ken Ham. No, Ken Ham is the, uh, he's a pastor. I think he's a Christian pastor. There's one in Australia who's, uh, his whole thing was, I'm Jesus, deal with it. That was his whole uh, thing that he kind of like marketed himself. And then uh, he told all his wives and all, not his wives, but he would tell the, the women that he was with that they're Mary Magdalene, that they're the reincarnated Mary Magdalene. And his, uh, his current wife is very hot, very hot. Um, he's an attractive man himself. I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be gay about it. He's an attractive man himself. So if, if there's anyone to be Jesus, it's him. It's him. Uh, drink the Kool-Aid. I think it was flavor aid. You're referring to, um, what, what's the Northern part? in uh south america where uh, jim jones in jonestown guyana there you go guyana 
That was hot. Uh, they they drank Flavor Aid. They drank Flavor Aid. It's not Kool Aid. And also, you spelled Kool Aid with a C. I could tell that you're not African American, uh, Lucas. I could tell you're not African Americus. Uh, African Americus. <laughs> That's <laughs> uh, African American because you spelled Kool Aid with a C. That should be blasphemy, honestly. Under the Obama administration, you would have been um put to death. Uh, do you mean divine truth? I think that's what it is. I think that's what it might be, RB. I remember I was uh, infatuated with cults for uh, quite some time just because of how interesting they are. People tend to, uh, you know, give themselves up to these cults uh, fucking even sexually. AJ Miller. AJ Miller. That's his name. You're right. 100%. AJ Miller. In before, Lindsey Harvey says AJ Styles? Question mark. In before. Uh, but yeah, it's divine truth. That's 100%. Ken Spam, Ben Ram, Ben Ram Z. You don't think he's related to the popular puzzle solver, don't you think? He's related to the popular puzzle solver, the po uh, solvent. Scientology is another one. Man, we're just going over all of them, dude. We're just going over all the crazy ones. Scientology. Let me tell you something about Scientology. They recently opened up a multi-story building that they repurposed down here. It's uh, on US 1 and 22nd. If you care to look that up. And that was previously office buildings. They took that shit over. And the picture that they had was the uh, the leader. Uh, I forgot what his name is. David something. Uh, with the fucking, the, the mayor of, you know, the town. Like, just holding hands. Just like, hey, dude. You know, th thank you for bringing Scientology here. Even though it's a well-known scam and a sham. So that's a little bit ridiculous, man. My uncle thinks that uh, a, that he is Jesus, and when Trump is out of presidency, Jesus will be president. He smokes a lot of meth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he probably eats it, too, considering he's saying Jesus will be president. Could you imagine if Jesus runs for president and he loses? Could you imagine that? Mormons. Mormons are another one. They're all very uh, nefarious, but they start typically with the same sort of skeletal structure, all these cults. They start with one... Uh, megalomaniac who's very charming, very smart, and uh, you know, usually starts based on one truth in a sense of, for example, Jim Jones was very pro um, civil rights, right? So he got a lot of the African American community. And um, what uh, Florida? Florida's called uh, it's Clearwater, Clearwater, Florida. But um, and then the Mormons, that was another one that was just this one dude, and he fucking uh, he pretty much just. <laughs> just started Mormonism. And, you know, since then, you still have these towns that are completely inundated by these very sort of uh, oddly dressed women. And, you know, every, it's a very male dominated sort of um, religion, if you even want to call it that. Uh, the more interesting one was the one in particular of the guy who was running from the police. I forgot what his name was, but uh, he was on America's Most Wanted and the FBI top 10 list for, I think, a couple years. And they caught him, you know, in a, in a routine uh, traffic stop. But yeah, Mormonism is another one that's that's a little bit uh, ridiculous in the sense of just the the lengths that people are willing to go to for these beliefs based on something that a dude uh, pulled up in the 40s, you know. So it's it's kind of nuts. It's kind of nuts. Uh, the whole cults, honestly, are, are really really interesting. There's a wonderful documentary on Netflix called uh, Holy Hell, which is great about this one cold guy who ended up being a, a gay porn star but they're all they're all honestly very similar so you kind of see the structure room. you see the, you know the the scientology aspect you see like kind of like the that it's one guy it's l ron hubbard right l ron hubbard kind of killing it and uh saying on record or off record rather that you know if you want to make money start a religion and still people pay money for that knowing that that's something that he said it's ridiculous What's up, Piggy, my niggy? Long time no see. What's up, Stefan Lazar, Lazarevic? Lazarevic. Uh, what's the difference between a religion and a cult? Uh, oof, that's a rough one. Well, a cult, my favorite cult is, is 45. I want to die. Uh, what was it? I, I don't know. I honestly, there, there's not a lot of differences. I don't want to be cynical when it comes to religion because, you know, you, you can't be stepping on a lot of people's beliefs and... To be honest, if you were born in a different set of circumstances, you might have different beliefs. So it's kind of, you know, very easy to shit on people based on your beliefs and the way you were brought up. So if you know you're a non-believer or something like that, um, I very, I've always been kind of like uh, not religious, I guess. Even though obviously being where I'm from, 
almost everyone here is uh, practicing some form of Santeria, of Santo fucking Ria. So, you know, you you have to dodge the people whipping the chickens back and forth onto the street and uh, sprinkling corn on them as a sacrificial rite here. That's that's kind of one of the stereotypes that's tr uh, honest, that's actually honest. Uh, what's your opinion on Jesus Christ, the dude who does memes and is actually named that because he grew up in a cult? That's funny. I actually don't know who that is. Uh, is that the guy that does videos on YouTube? I know there was one guy that was uh, your Lord and Savior Jesus. But I don't know what the difference between a religion and a cult is, honestly. Uh, they're both, you know, fanatical. I, I think religion for some people could be a advantageous. Uh, honestly, some people need it in their lives. I knew a lot of people, you know, I fucking did it, some people that um, were in desperate need of something else in their life and religion fit the bill perfectly, even though it completely changed who they were. Uh, it made them into someone that, you know, they think were ultimately happier. Mm. But it really depends. Uh, I think that religion is something that some people need, unfortunately. But to me, I just never, I, I never really liked that idea of having to believe in uh in something without you know a lot of i would say evidence to portray it so i i might be a little bit skeptical in that sense not cynical but skeptical uh they teach religion and religion in primary school here but they do it in a dogmatic way not an educational way which i believe school shouldn't do that was a episode of penn and teller bullshit which i think was great uh that's that's kind of a dope one because they they had this whole bit on how they wanted to teach um, intelligent design, which is the idea that a creator made the planet and a creator made, uh, you know, the whole existence and teach it alongside the theory of evolution. And they would call, you know, evolution a theory and they would say, you know, oh, but look at this evidence that supports intelligent design, uh, which is kind of interesting. But ultimately, I think in that particular county, they ended up winning and allowing, you know, the stamp on every textbook saying, you know, this evolution's a theory and that's all it is. So kind of interesting uh, that people actually, you know, are willing to go about that. But if, if findings go against religious beliefs, what do you like? That's that's the end of it. That's kind of what sucks about religion is that whereas uh science could say that they're wrong and whereas evidence could prove to be you know incorrect and and things could change religion doesn't change because then it affects the fundamental belief of the entire religion so imagine if one aspect of the bible is is challenged you know then fuck the entire thing uh, becomes uh becomes subject to i want to say scrutiny and then that kind of undermines the entirety of their religion you know so that's that's kind of the interesting aspect of it but uh lesnar retired from the ufc brock lesnar breaking news has retired from mixed martial arts not just ufc which is kind of interesting uh because i would have thought that he would have kept going and i thought that maybe he was training perhaps for uh, some sort of big big fight with daniel cormier which they teased let me man spread i'm gonna man spread here guys i don't know if you guys could see it that much um Piggy, I'm planning to make magic tutorials for Spanish speakers because uh, our magician teachers don't do it so well. They want 150. Damn, that's kind of nuts. Uh, funny enough, newbie hero, you happen to uh, mention that at the exact time that Streamlabs drops a little bit of a hot message there. Uh, so, yeah, you know, uh, it's it's definitely something that I think you have to... It, it, from the academy, from, you know, starting that up, uh, I've been very blessed with how people have found uh, the information there. And I've been really happy with the feedback that I've gotten so far. But uh, what's interesting is that I've also gotten some messages as like, what's, what's the difference between yours and some other ones? You know, what's why, what makes yours special? And that's kind of where it becomes up to the consumer, because I enjoy reading and looking through beginners videos and beginners um what do you call this uh beginners videos i like to look at beginners what else uh books i like to go through that because you're getting a different perspective from each particular individual so you're not necessarily getting uh the same information yeah you're getting the same move you know you might get a a you know oh this is the mechanic script or this is a pinky count or this is a pinky break but you're getting it with that magician's whole history involved in it so when you sign up for my academy you're getting my way of doing certain moves which might be beneficial to certain people so you got to make sure that you know that's that's something that you do you you teach obviously moves you teach the basics you start from the from the wee beginning 
but you make it obviously, you know, with your touches and tips on it, because that's, I think the value that people find. They're making 150 months per person and you're getting chucked at five times. Yeah, so it's a value, isn't it? It's a little bit of a value to pay K-Card Academy, I would say. Uh, I go to a private Jewish school, so they teach religion and also that evolution is false. Although evolution is taught in my school by an Af African atheist with straight, uh, long black hair. That's very like counter sort of production, no? That's fucking hysterical, dude. Well, private schools can do whatever they want. I think when you come into public domain, that's the thing. I, I remember uh, there was a couple, there was a couple issues with uh, some private clubs, uh, country clubs and stuff, not accepting, you know, African Americans, and and unfortunately, I don't think much could be done about that because I think that their rules are subjected to their own standard. If it's a private club, same thing with private schools, they could technically do whatever the fuck they want. So if they want to teach religion, I mean, that's the nature of a private school. Uh, in my opinion, religion was necessary as a reference for moral where God should be understand or God should be understood, I guess, as the moral rules that should be respected for the rest uh, without relying on an upper power. Yeah, but that's, I think, one of the things that I find uh, against the idea of religion, that you have the idea is that you don't have any morals. You don't have any any morals and your morals depend and rely on this, um, on a God, you know. So I think one of the questions that atheists and people that don't necessarily believe in a god get asked a lot is also oh, so you're saying that you're responsible for your own morals and you're responsible for your own set of rules yeah you know that's that i don't think that's a good argument to make and that's an argument that i've heard a lot uh larry isley says it was the first attempt of at philosophy uh, to understand the world and set down rules for a living uh, exactly no you're right I, I think that technology and uh time is something that's shown a testament to how religion is something that's dated unfortunately but you know, I don't think that you need um, I don't think that you need a uh, a religion to tell you that you shouldn't fuck somebody else's partner, that you shouldn't kill. I, I think that those are uh, logical and ethical, you know, things and morals that are dependent on your own natural, you know, intrinsic sort of um, uh, beliefs, you know. But I I don't think you need religion for that. Om Kuli Karni. Uh, well, first of all, your name looks like you just had a fucking seizure. On your keyboard and uh this isn't a roasting stream man i don't know what you're looking to make up for in your life honestly by having um slightly uh homosexual youtube-based magicians roast you over stream honestly i don't know what that does to you i'm afraid to do so because honestly what what lets me know that you're not jerking off right now to the thought and to my voice when i'm calling you like a a, a cunt you know I see this. Everyone stop crying. I'm here. Top notch. You and your fucking memes. Three, two, three, two. One day you're going to invert that. There's going to be somebody that inverts that. Uh, two, three, two, three. And it's going to be a, um, a fake top notch. Let's read these. Okay, so hold up. There's a couple good comments here. Let's go through these. This is fun. I want to die. Oh, fucking. Oh, I just bit my tongue like a fucking. Oh, person of color. Holy shit. Am I bleeding? <laughs> I think I'm bleeding. Spit. I'm fucking bleeding. Oh, fuck me, dude. Uh, okay. Uh, so, let's see. Doesn't the Bible say it's okay to kill your own slave or rape someone if you... Uh, some parts. I know there was a part that said that it's okay to, to sell your daughter if uh, financially able. Or financially necessary, which is kind of interesting. Fuck that hurt. Uh, my school gets non-Jewish teachers to teach general studies because they try to be as balanced as possible between religion and academics. At least that's a benefit. At least that's a, a beneficial aspect of that. But again, it depends on, uh, depends on, you know, the actual individual school. They're not required unless they're, uh, uh, you know, a very specific school that they have to teach, you know, biblical stuff. There's a couple by here. Uh, religious people in the Bible that are horrible. Exodus 35.2. It's who they make the moral call to disobey. If they're already making those calls, why not make all of them? Yeah, there's a lot of logical points to, to really pick apart the Bible. But again, you can't argue with someone that's arguing from a belief perspective because they're arguing from belief. So what's the point of arguing? I just have my cell phone to do records and that kind of stuff. And my Mexican poverty just gave me... Uh, just gave my four an android and it doesn't record so well 
Uh, well, I mean, my first videos were on this phone, which is a Galaxy S7. That was my first video, which wasn't really a, a good phone. Uh, what was it? Tremendous phone, but it wasn't, um, you know, the best phone at the time. It wasn't anything that was, you know, to blowing up uh, the tech world. But it's it's what I made my first videos with, and that's what got eyes on my channel. So it's just about understanding light, understanding audio, and making sure that you, you know, tend to those. Uh, there's an objective morality in so far as there's an objectively best way to maximize human happiness. Any thoughts on a Mint 2 project by Assad and 52 cards? Uh, you know, I, I haven't touched them. I don't have any Mint cards. If I had some Mint cards, that one guy, I would have a better opinion. Uh, so girls can use chemicals to remove nail polish from the nails, but Germany uses chemicals to remove polish from Germany, and all of a sudden it's a crime war. You, I think if German is still here, German, if you're still listening, you and Top Notch would probably be Biffles. Honestly, I think you're the same age, as a matter of fact. No, 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 top notch might be older. You guys would be biffles, man. TBH. Uh, how do people bite their tongues? I usually bite my cheek or lip. I was chewing on gum until very uh, shortly before the stream. And I guess my uh, retarded mouth still just went, hey, there's gum in my mouth. Yeet. So uh, religion is the opium of people, as they say, as say a bearded guy. Karl Marx, I believe. That's funny. Well, I mean, the thing is that, again, as I mentioned earlier, religion is something that certain people need. Unfortunately, they uh, they have certain points and they have certain aspects of their life that really, you know, bode well with religion and bode well with um, a sort of, you know, organized uh, belief system. And unfortunately, that's the case. But again, you can't argue belief. That's that's the worst part. So you could say, you know, oh, you know, evolution is this. Look at all the evidence that you know proves that this is most likely what happened. Again, it could change depending on evidence. That's the great thing about science; it could change. But you know, you can't argue that with the, with religion because it can't change. There's nothing that can change from religion, and if it does, then that undermines the entirety of the belief. So you can't like. There's literally no reason to argue that with somebody else uh, apart from just understanding that they were born in a different place a different time had you been born in that you know p potential random set of circumstances that put you nearby where they were you probably have the same beliefs you know and and there's nothing wrong with that it's just circumstance uh i feel though there's an objective morality although i have no idea how it would be proven but in my opinion i don't think it fucking matters if you don't have basic morals we just ignore you i think that's from uh, that's part of the training i think in uh, costco i think that's part of the costco training it's against my religion to talk religion with somebody who constantly hides their face i uh, damn dude yeah <laughs> you can't talk you can't talk to the arabs uh you can't talk to the the arabs then Let's see. Why are we talking about religion? Uh, somebody brought up the topic and uh, we've been in it. It's actually started from cults. It started uh, the difference between cults and uh, religion. So then that got into a whole uh, discussion here on um, on religion and cults and all that. But yeah, but there's a, a number of religions that are really, really uh, fucking great to look into. Again, Jonestown is the quintessential one. That one is, is great to study. Um and Guyana, you know, Jim Jones, that's a phenomenal one. Uh, another one that's great is, uh, again, the, the David Koresh, the Waco, Texas. That's a phenomenal one. The the one from uh, Japan with Shogo Asahari, I think. Uh, that one's a great one because they actually did some stuff. You know, they, they uh, did some terroristic attacks. That was a very interesting one to study. But, uh, you know, fairly interesting, fairly interesting. What moves do you think are the best to teach someone who doesn't know shit about magic? Listen, man, I start from the fucking way beginning. You don't understand how many people that have been into magic for five fucking years. And, you know, I've been a magician for 20 years and they don't know how to hold a deck. They don't know how to spread a deck because they just they just do this right here. They just fucking so holding a deck, spreading a deck, anything that you could think of that people would otherwise dismiss as like, oh, no, everyone knows how to hold a deck. No, they don't. No, they fucking don't have pe look at people and watch how they hold decks. You have people that are uh, right handed holding cards in their right hand. You, no, dude, left hand. If you're right handed, right hand, if you're left handed, you have basic things that people don't understand that are just, you know, uh, general sorts of things that they take for granted. You need to start from the wee beginning. 
assume that they don't even know how to how to pick up a deck, you know? Uh, ever study a little Buddhism? I read a good book on it called Dharma Punks. No, I've never, I mean, the only thing that I've, uh, about Buddhism is the, I guess, historical aspect of the, uh, the, the religion, you know? That was kind of the only thing, but nothing other than that. I just found a minty. What the fuck is a minty? What is a minty, dude? Or or spread well, rather. Yeah, that's a, another thing people take for granted. You see these, you know, this right here. You see this spread. You see the chicken wing. Spreading is something that is the number one indicator to me, your level with magic. If I see that you're spreading a deck well, and don't say, oh, it's the cards. It's the cards. It's you. It's fucking you. All right. It, so spreading a deck is the first thing that tells me how um, how involved you were in magic, you know, and it tells me that how much time you spent uh, practicing little things like holding a deck, you know, things, little things like that, that people take for granted. That tells me uh, everything just by looking at the way you hold the deck and the way you spread it. I'm ambidextrous. I think you should do it for what you feel the most comfortable with in terms of, and also I think, no, it, it start. I think you should learn magic as if, you know, you are right-handed. So deck in the left hand, just because that's a traditional mechanics grip. Um, and from there, you know, when you spread the cards, if you spread the cards like this, you notice what happens. You don't see the pips. You don't see anything. But if you spread the cards this way, because most cards are designed in this sort of way, you see the pips. So... Goes up to like academy video on spreading a deck. Yeah, that's one of the first lessons. That is one of the first hot lessons, dog. I recently watched the video of Babel doing a single and double lift. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Babel is a stupid one, honestly. Babel is a uh, stupid one in terms of watching. Let me see if I could kind of like replicate. But the idea is that you, you kind of make your singles look the same as your doubles, right? So the point is that uh, both of them kind of look the same, even if you're flipping a single card uh, to still make it look like you're flipping one card. That's that's the uh, the little rule of thumb you often hear, you know, for whatever move, uh, even if you're false transferring a coin from one hand to the other, make it look the same when you do it for real and then do it, you know, when you're faking the move, make them look the exact same. That's kind of the uh, one of the rules that people say. Double lift fail backups. You shouldn't have a double lift fail backup. That's called lack of practice. That's called lack of practice. And I know that sounds like one of those uh, stupid, you know, what do you, you should practice more. No, but yeah, you can. If you're failing on doing a double lift, uh, that's because you haven't practiced it enough to the point where it, it's, it, the thing is that it's the same as you could fail in the sense of somebody catching your palm. Right. For example, let's say they you happen to, to move your hand a little bit and they happen to see it. That's an environmental factor. But messing up like a like a basic move, uh, messing up like uh, how do you what if they catch my pinky break? Well, you know, again, these are you make sure that you have a small pinky break. You don't have one of these things that you could drive a Ford Raptor through. Right. So a double lift is uh, is one of those things. You got to make sure that if it's splitting, that's a practice thing. You practice your whole life. If it splits, you're not practicing well enough then. That's the key, man. I'm sorry to say it, but uh, if you're splitting on your double lift, let me tell you, my double lifts only split when I first learned how to do my double lifts. That's when I first uh, started splitting. So that's when you first started with this thing, you know, where they would split by accident or you would do it or maybe you would uh, lift one card by accident. The only time that that was happening to me was when uh, I was first learning how to do double lifts. So uh, in your recent ESP video, you talk about there being one move. How do you practice that move while feeling like a douche? Are you talking about the Tamaris fake switch? Are you talking about the Juan Tamariz fake switch? Hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Uh, that's a weird move, to be honest. That's a weird move, but it's a fun move. Uh, it's one of my first things because um, when you, uh, it's based on a Tamaris switch, right? Tamaris did the switch and has followed the leader routine where he does like that. Uh, so what I like, hold up, what happened here? Do I really need to be top notch two three two three to impersonate someone in a chat on YouTube? I don't know if you're willing to make the account. That's a lot. 
Brave with the face cam. You're cuter than I expected. Anyway, so uh, when it comes to uh, this particular move, it's essentially it's it's the same sort of idea and cover as a I would do it as a top uh, as a top change. So it's the same idea, you know, for a top change. The idea is that they shouldn't have to kind of like stare at it. So you know, you you put tension on the move, you show it, you relax, and then on that relaxation, that's when you do the top change, you know. So same thing with this move, you're, you're asking him a question, you know, you mix that up, you're holding it in this position. So they mix it up, you offer your hand, right? And then when you do the false transfer move, it should be done under the, uh, under asking the spectator, you know, oh, can I, can you shuffle mine or you shuffle those? Well, you should shuffle mine, you know, you should do it under that sort of pretext. So there's the same misdirection of a top change where it's, uh, pretty much covered by an honest and a necessary sort of question. I think that that's one of the things that I hate the most about seeing magicians do misdirection. Misdirection, people assume it's asking a question, but they don't think if it's a relevant question. It needs to be a relevant question. I, I don't understand why I see too many magicians thinking that misdirection is just, uh, what's your name? You know, like asking a relevant question. People aren't dumb. I don't know how many times. Uh, what, what, are you left-handed or right-handed? You know? Asking a relevant question pertaining to the context of the trick. So if you're going to do this false, uh, this false switch, uh, make sure that it's something pertaining to the actual trick itself. Don't just ask a question that, you know, that might stand out later when they're trying to replicate it. If that makes sense. I hope it does. Uh, butcher, you better stop. Butcher, stop. Nobody's going to know who I am. Butcher shop? Talking to yourself is for crazy people. Last I heard, you're not talking to, uh, you're talking to, you're talking to, to us, man. We're, we're, we're here watching you. We're here watching you on the chat. Uh, I have a theory that it was you who took patreon.com slash pay cake. Yeah, man. What well, put, I, I could have taken patreon.com slash pay cake. I could have taken that, but I put, uh, <laughs> so dumb. I took, uh, I just added two E's. I just added two E's uh, with that just to match my email, just to keep consistent with that. Top-notch imposter, stop this madness. That seems like something a 13-year-old would do. Like That's a 13-year-old level humor right there, dog. That's at least, uh, I would say, level four virginity. That's level, yep, le definitely level four virginity to make a, a, another account for a, a joke that I made on a stream. Two E's. Two E's, Simba. That's what I meant. I don't know if I said one E, but um, two E's because my email is pig cake with two E's. So I want it to be consistent. If you're the real top notch, drop a one ninety nine super chat. <laughs> Sorry, the YouTube demonetization, uh, demonetization gods are. Um, are uh, preventing me from saying fa, you know, from saying it. Uh, I dubs is level five. Thoughts on Erdnase X de Guzman. I don't know. Isolation was in uh, Erdnase. I don't know. I was an expert at the card table. Might have been. It might have been. I don't even know how to do it. All I know is that it's everyone fucking does it. Oh, the pig cake already has one e. All right. Thank you, Thima. This is why I miss you. This is why I miss you. <laughs> uh, would you say that there's a difference between a double lift and a double turnover? Yes. Yes. A double lift is uh, lifting two cards as one. A double turnover is turning over two cards as one. That's, that's a double turnover. This is a double lift because you're lifting. You see the difference? This you're lifting and one you're turning over. Right here. You see that? Uh, look at that. See this? This is a double lift. Hold up. Let me see if I can make it more obnoxious. Insert uh, dubstep music here. And then this is a double turnover. See that? That's a double turnover. It was a six and a five. I just, that's funny. 
do you follow the jerks? I don't, but I've been told that it's phenomenal. I've been told that it's phenomenal. So uh, I should, I should, right? I should follow the jerks. But instead, I live in my um, my infinite virginity, and I'm t uh, I'm too busy looking at older books. Did you hear about the guy that shot his girlfriend over if a Ford or Chevy is better? No, I haven't heard that. But let me tell you, I would have shot uh, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my girlfriend. I like girls. I would have shot my significant other, my partner. You know how somebody, uh, you know how you know if somebody's gay, if they refer to their significant other as their partner. When they keep it gender neutral like that, I'm like, oh, okay. I had a speech teacher, I think, in uh, college that said, yeah, me and my partner. And I'm like, oh, you got to keep track of all the accounts, bro. You could keep this one, too, and feign to be me in the future. I give you permission. That's funny. I feel like it's you. I feel like you're talking. You're talking um, about uh, what do you call this? You're talking about you're talking to yourself. Sorry. How do you? Oh, my fucking God. I just realized something, man. RB, you are 100% correct. I'm in an illusionist video. Somehow, I have snuck my way onto an illusionist video. Holy shit. I never thought, I never thought I would ever fucking be. Holy shit, dude. I'm... Dude, this is like one step closer to Brad Christian, dog. I have snuck my way into Illusionist uh, via uh, via Brian Connor. These nuts. I never thought I would ever be on it, but you know what? I'm in there. I'm in there, dog. Yeah, I'm springing on, on Brad's. <laughs> yeah, I'm springing on Brad's back, and I'm not using cards. I'm using semen. I'm using semen. Uh, here's the thing. I can't show you my tattoo because it's on the side of my, um, it's on the side of my wiener. That's what it is. It's on the side of my wiener. So unfortunately I can't, uh, I can't, oh my God, I'm tired of man spreading. Uh, so I can't show you because YouTube would demonetize that. Let's see how many cards it takes for me to catch it, uh, with my fingertips. There you go. To be fair, I was looking at the monitor, not my hands, bitch. Okay. Uh, tell me you're wearing eyeliner. Well, you know, it didn't, I, I, I'm wearing eyeliner, but that's because it rubbed off and it's not on my eyes. It's on my, my ass, my ass, my butthole, my butt, uh, with the name, including the word savage. Oh my God. Why am I fucking so wet back today, dude? I swear to God. I've been, if you fucking look back on this chat and stream, I've been dropping so many wet back like mannerisms. It hurts me. With a name including the word savage, asking for a face reveal. Piggy's definitely going to call you 12. Okay, let's see who called me. Uh, okay, hashtag simple savage with a spade avatar. Asking to show my face. You are 12 years old. You are 12 years old. You are 12. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, what is this? What is this? Fake ass top notch. Didn't even want to show two bucks. Well, newbie hero did. Newbie hero did. God fucking damn it. That's supposed to have TTS. Let me properties. Uh, where are they're supposed to be fucking headphones. <sighs> that's fine that's cool that's cool i'm actually 17 that's young enough to ask for a face reveal i think it's under the age of 17 so 17 and under per se um my virginity level is uh i think it's it's i don't know i say it every video it changes every video the last one i think was 97 level 97 virgin level 97 yeah that's that's what i'm about that allows me to do this like level 97 virgin allows me to do um it allows me to dribble the cards like this right 
but I can't do Anaconda. I can't do Anaconda. So I could dribble the cards, you know. I could hold back two. That's that's some virgin. Um, see, look proof. I could hold back two, you know, consistently. Do a little bit of a dribble double. Uh, I could do I could do one of these. All right. That's level 97. If if I was a level, I think 105, I could do Anaconda. So. Your videos are. The fucking audio doesn't work because the microphone wasn't connected when I restarted it. But that's fine. That's fine. Thank you, Sima. Uh, 199 from Simification, who now I believe is a butcher. I believe you're butcher now because why are you doing what Top Notch tells you? Right? Why are you doing with top notch? Why am I getting packages from Northern Florida? From uh, why am I getting butcher packages from Northern Florida? Oh my God! If it was more uh, top notch, you would have put some racial epitaph in there. Uh, Piggy lost his virginity in an SUV, but never called it back. Twenty years later, the SUV found him. That sounds like the worst movie. And also, if you've maintained the um the rigidity of the SUV all this time, like the, the SUV was pretty, pretty nice, pretty good looking, you know, like it was a nice SUV. Don't get me wrong. Uh, if you've had that SUV for 20 years, you must be a psycho in terms of maintaining that bitch. Speaking of young ages, are you ever going to share your recurring dream you had till you were 14 or is it always going to be too personal? I don't think it was too personal. I just think that that's something that I mentioned offhandedly in a stream. And for you to remember that is fucking creepy. Uh. It's, it's fucking creepy. See that? It's a... It, it, it's fuck. It's supposed to look like I throw the card and it turns into this, right? I want to die. Uh, I'm a 15 year old level 105 virginity because you could do Anaconda. You could do Anaconda in slow motion on a YouTube video or on an Instagram video and have a bunch of comments saying, You're so skilled. You're so skilled. Did you watch Chris Ramsey? You watch Chris Ramsey, don't you? Uh, did you know you never actually mentioned a stream before? And I'm not even kidding. I did, though. I did. I, I talked about a, a recurring dream. If I could uh, remember that. Or maybe I didn't, and I'm misremembering it. I'm, I'm you're miss you're doing that hypnosis thing, where you hip like you know you put the person under hypnosis, and you're like, so did you fucking commit that murder? How fast were you going when you stabbed that knife into that person's neck? How fucking hard did you stab it? And they're like, I don't, I I stabbed him hard, and then you know they're they're doing twenty five to life for a false uh, confession. Let's see. Oh my God. I have never posted my anaconda even though it's over three feet. Wow, dude, that's, yeah, that's, uh, you've never seen a pussy. That's for sure. Never seen a pussy. Uh, I love color changes. Make fun of me, then tell me five of them I should learn. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know if the shape change, the shape shifter, uh, the 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 pig cake one with the fan. That's a dope one. The double one, um, it's a hot one. Uh, not this one. I hate this one. I hate this one. I hate this one. I hate that one. I hate this one. You know, I I don't like that one. I don't like that one at all. Um, and what else? What else is a cool color change that you could do? Uh. The, the the bottom steel one where you bottom steel it like that and you swipe it. That's the one that I've taught on the pit. Yeah, but the erdnase to me it's a little bit because let me see if I get first of all, let me see if I could do it well. Right? So that's me doing it attempting to doing it well. Right? Um huh. but it depends. I gotta say it depends. The shake change is something that I like, uh, but you're right, it can look like it's exactly what's happening. Uh now don't get me wrong, the frame rate here also shows that moment right there grim reaper dk donated two dollars uh to whatever the fuck euros i guess for the pig cake booty thank you uh the pig cake booty appreciates appreciates that Pre appreciate appreciates that listen right here it's a color change i like i i like it i like it a lot um it also works as a switch as i use in um 
I use it in this sort of context. You see this? You see this in this ace routine? I've done it about a thousand times on stream. But in my variation on uh, twisting the aces or uh, the dive running trick, uh, let's see. Look at this. I'm going to be as natural as possible. <laughs> I just lost an ace. We'll compare. We'll use the five. We'll use the, the five of hearts here to replace it. Uh, but you do a little bit of a triple lift. You show the bottom card, which is your excuse to get to the position, right? You you hold the cards in the diagonal. I like shaking it uh, to establish the precedent. You do an Elmsley count, right? That's the first card that turned over. You uh, do this move again. Again, not doing anything, but simulating the shake change that you're about to do. You do another Elmsley count. Uh, this time, what you do is that you take this five, you put it on the bottom, you actually do the shake change. As you say, look, the cards... Um, the next one turned over. This time is the ace of hearts, right? You see that? Now this ace goes face down on the bottom. You do one more fake shake change. You do an Elmsley count and say, but the ace of spades has the most ink, so it doesn't turn over. Then you do the real shake change. And you say, if I shake it hard enough, the other cards turn over. The ace of spades stays face down because this is um, a fat card. It's really fat, so it has a lot of ink. So that's the little, I've taught that on the channel. But uh, what I like about it is that you're using a shake change as a, as a switch, as a switch, as opposed to a, a color change for that. So the five, yeah, because I dropped it. And I'm not about to pick it up. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. I could do that better. I could do that better. There you go. I want to die. Hey, what's up, Travis? Sorry, I have a lisp. Um, I think it's the, the tongue, me biting my tongue. Uh, let's see. Ben Earl has a dope handling for the classic CC. What do you mean by CC? What do you mean by CC? Past midnight. I like Ricky Smith's CC. It, that just sounds like you're saying PP. Pee -pee. Like you're saying PP, you know? Uh, let's see, my internet crapped out back now, just in case you wanted to finish mocking me. Oh, color change, color change. Hmm. Color change, that's what it was. I was here thinking it was some sort of a uh, pee pee. Lucas, Lucas, you don't have pubic hairs. How could you be Butcher the Pig? All right. You don't have pubic hairs. You can't be Butcher the Pig. Um... What else is another color change? Uh, this one, right? Let me see if I could even do it. The Louis Simonoff, flip it. That's a dope one, right? That's a hot one to do. I like this one. I haven't seen people do this one a lot, but you take it, you lift it to your lips. You do this as you lift it to your lips, and then you come back down, and it just looks like you blew on it, and it changed. <sighs> like that. I like that one. That one's hot. Some people don't like that. Um... But a Cardini is another one. Let me see if I could even bust it out. Oh, that looked exactly like it went where it went, right? Let's see if I could do it. There you go. See? That look, That didn't look that bad. That didn't look horrendous. The best color change was published by Michael Jackson. Well, I don't think he uh, had a choice. I don't think he had a choice there. Uh, I wish I could send you plane tickets without your real name because you would probably be creeped out if I just sent them today. Yeah, that would be kind of nuts because I would wonder, hey, how did you? And then second of all, hey, wait a second. And then third of all, I'd be like, but. And then it would also. A lot of things, a lot of questions I would have. I have to mute myself in real life before I do the Cardini. What do you mean by mute yourself? In real, like kill yourself? If, like, like, um maim yourself i guess per se tips on a 21 card trick uh who has a wonderful bill malone has a wonderful variation uh john rocker bomber has another wonderful variation on a 21 card trick uh fuck ed marlo has about a dozen uh, but in terms of like really really cool ones bill malone i think on his um bill malone on his marlo meets malone or malone meets marlo he has a, a really really good one uh, that's that's kind of like designed designed uh, your father wasn't a mechanic was he no my my father 
but you would get on a plane if tickets were sent to you? That's the question. Hold up, hold up. My father was not a mechanic because I don't have a father top notch. My father wasn't around. I don't know what he does. He could be a taxi driver. He could be a prostitute. He could be a, a, a dentist. He could be a doctor. He could be a dick doctor. <coughs> he could be a practicing chiropractor in Cuba. <coughs> he could be a... Uh, um, uh, uh, what do you call this? A uh, surgeon, right? A foot surgeon in Italy. There's a lot of things, man. There's a lot of things, bro. <laughs> Left in the third grade. There was a little bit of time with. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I, I downplay that. I downplay that. But yeah, you're right. I, I remember third grade. That was it. Him and my mama picked me up, and I was like, "What? Huh? My dad's picking me up? That's fucking weird." And, uh, yeah, he did. I think last year he wished me a happy birthday. I mentioned that on stream. Damn, dude. I should really watch out with the shit I say, dog. I realized that you, you have a, I have a bunch of people listening and like writing down like, oh, he said what? Oh, ha. Huh. Uh, maybe he's a mechanic and a foot surgeon. Then you could really use. <laughs> oh, shit. That's fucking phenomenal. Yeah, you're right. I could have. Holy shit, dude. My father doesn't even know I was born. Damn, dude. Yo, where are my fatherless people coming out, huh? Where are my fatherless? Where are my fatherless people? You guys are coming out in the chat here, dude. We're taking over. Uh, you never said he left you in the third grade. I just knew that. See, now you're just fucking with me, top notch. 3232. Two, three, two. Okay? Now, now you're just... Now you're just... You're making me do snap changes from how angry you're making me. Let me see if I could do a snap change with... Uh, do I have something else here? Uh, I don't. I actually don't. Oh. I got it. Right here. Right there. And it turns into a, a wrapper for... Bubblicious. Hold up. There you go. That looked good. That looked good. Right? And then you could do... Oh, fuck. You could do one of these. To kind of make it look a oh, fucking piece of shit. All right, hold up. Butcher the pig. I'm not that great, T. Damn, son. <laughs> Are you my father, butcher? Fuck, hold up. I can make that look good. Stop. There you go. That looked good. That looked relatively good. There's a little bit of a peak there, though. Let me see. I want to do this and then that. That's what I want to do. So that's the sequence here. Let's see if we could do that here. So color... Fucking black people. Color change. <sighs> Ray Charles. All right. There you go. Look at that. That looked kind of dope. That looked kind of... Right? You could do one of these memes. Let me see if I could do this. Let me see if I could do this. This is going to be a rough one. There's No, I'm not going to be able to do that. I want to do like uh, one of these color changes. Right? That looked good. Right? Ooh. Damn, son. Okay, hold up. I, what I want to do... What I want to do... I want to do... Hold up. Fucking A. Okay, so hold up. What I want to do... So you could squeeze this. You could take this. Squeeze it into this. Right? You could turn it back. What I want to do is this color change, right? Like, I'm sorry, this vanish, right? That thing. I want to do that, but do it so that it's it's it turns into the, the fucking gum wrapper, right? That, I don't know if that was, yeah, fuck it. That's cancerous. Oh, my God. So let me see if I could do a sequence here. Right here. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, damn! And then you could end clean. You could end clean by just di dipping it. Let me see if I could. Oh no! Fucking black people. Okay. Uh, the bubblicious sequence. Yeah, that's a nice pick. <laughs> Academy lesson. Dude, this vanish. This very practical handling, right? Very practical handling of a card appearing. 
right? Let me see if I could do it legit. Very practical, dude. Look, very practical. That actually, you know what? That actually doesn't look bad. If you do this, hold up. Let me do this. So you could do this, this, and then that. That kind of looks kind of dope, I guess. I want to die. No nails, no nails, nails. Seriously. The Jesse Eisenberg snap change. Yeah, he created that. Jesse Eisenberg created that. Uh, they, they milked his nipple, and he made the, the top the top notch change, the, the um, ice snap change, the snap change. I think it was a trance. Uh, there's something else here. Do you prefer card controls that change the position of the cards or controls that look like you're doing nothing with the deck? I think you're literally just echoing something that I said in a previous stream about, for example, that being something overt happening and this being something relatively covert happening, right? I think that's what you're echoing that. You're echoing that. Uh, nice video, but I don't like your words. Sorry, I'm going to unsubscribe to you. Sorry. Uh, okay, I guess. I don't know what words I said that offended you. Was it Jesse Eisenberg? Was that it? Was that the what caused you to unsubscribe, I guess? Is Endgame worth watching? No, nah, I didn't like it. I didn't like Endgame, but then, but then again, it was very, you know, it was, it was, uh, it was good, but it wasn't up to the, the, the hype, you know, it wasn't up to the hype, I think, that people kind of portrayed it as, it was an all right movie, but I'm going to join the cause and follow the top notch Instagram, I think you're wrong account, you're supposed to say that under the butcher, no spoilers, I'm not going to spoil it, but people might spoil it in the chat RB, so that's something you need to watch out for. You need to watch out for. Seriously, I want to know what words I said, man. I want to see what words I said. Seriously. Was it the black people? Was it that? My father's black. My dad's black. My mom's blackduh.com. She's on blacked.com. But she's kind of black by penetration. That counts, right? That counts. Uh, I bet they got the cut twins. Or, um, they're gone now. Let it go. That's funny. Uh, what's this? Hold up. Stop, stop, stop. Am I going to get... Am I going to get... The... Now You See Me? Is that what it was? Now You See Me Monarchs? No, man. I'm not going to get those. Is that a thing? Oh, Ew. Ew. Go to Mexico and watch the movie Less Than Five dollars per ticket or you could just do what uh i did which is go to fucking satchel's instagram satchel swede's instagram where he usually posts parodies and he uh says hey don't watch spoiler coming up of endgame i'm like haha it's satchel it's not gonna be a fucking spoiler and it was a spoiler of um a very important part of the movie god fucking damn it Uh, watches two videos, watches two years of pig cake videos in which he's fake racist and swears nonstop. <laughs> yeah, fake racist, right? <laughs> All that fake racism. <laughs> yeah, man. Really caught me with that fake racism. I love, I love the, um, I have half a brick of those monarchs. Now you see me. Oh, oh, and you let me in your house. Oh, damn, Daniel. Add it again with the white vans, dude. Hello? You let me in there, dog. Uh, there was a TV channel in the, in the Philippines that edit, aired a cam rip of Endgame the day after it premiered. That's fucking hysterical. That's probably where he got it. Honestly, it's one of those ones that's like from Iraq with a phone like this, right? It's like the they, they film it like this the entire movie. Three hours, though, man. That guy is a trooper. Uh, my grandfather was a fake racist for hella long. He still has the robes and the hat things. He used to prank the minorities. The minorities. I want to die. Uh, how can I square a deck without looking suspicious? Well, first of all, you can't be squaring decks while black. Uh, that's that's something that makes 
all the suspicion on you if you square up the deck and you're um I, I, is that a meme are you joking is that a prank i think this is the best way to square up a deck without looking suspicious right like that unless you want to make it look like a move like that you could do that that's kind of hot what was this well oh bertram changed yeah but i could do it awfully like my bertram change is pretty pretty cancerous to be honest see that it's cancer Ooh, cancer look at that i practiced it once I hated it. I see. I can't even do it. Can I even do it without fucking flashing like a like a fucking virgin? There you go. Oh my god! I still flush like an absolute virgin. I could do it. I promise. My mom told me I could do it. I could do this one, right? That thing. But I still flash because my virginity level isn't substantial enough. Oh my fucking god, are you fucking serious right now with my fucking Bertrams? It's fine, I hate it. It's a bad color change. My mom says it's not good, so I can't do it. Oh, fucking ankle, dude. I threw that on my fucking ankle, dog. Uh, how about you tell people you don't want to use urinals because you're scared you're going to be shoved mid-pee? You need to stop paying attention to my streams, top-notch. These nuts. No, honestly, yeah. Honestly, dude. Like, you that's a lot of attention on my streams, dog. I feel you listening and writing in with a paper. Like, who said what? Hmm? Pig Cake was robbed by a, a magician in his youth. And he thought that through magic, he was able to repress his fear of magicians. What? Uh, I love that turning action with the Bertram. My mom loves the turn. I need to stop. Uh, how about a kid that cried in class because he said people were bullying him and you felt bad for thinking it was funny. When did that happen? Was that real? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember, dude, if that, uh, that's probably true. That's probably true to BH. I, I laugh. I laugh at kids a lot. Look at the, hold up. Let me see if I could do this here. Does this look good from this angle? No, that didn't look good. That didn't look good. Okay, see, that's, that's okay, see, top notch. That's exactly what tells me that you were definitely paying attention because I remember fucking telling me that. I remember telling people that. So he said his dad worked for Maximilian Pegasus. That didn't fucking happen. I, had a, uh, I remember a kid from middle school told me with a straight face that his father, his father, Worked for Maximilian Pegasus, an anime character. Are you functionally retarded? I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. I love how half the cards are on the ground here. Um, what am I going to do here? What's a cool move to do? You know what I haven't done in a while? This right here. I haven't done this. One of these. I haven't done that in a long time because I, I don't like this. I don't like this part, right? I don't like that part. So I just, you circumvent it by just doing that part. That's the, this is the part that I liked doing this bit. That's the only part I liked. I don't like the cut part, but then here's the thing that allows you to use the bottom card. See that? That allows you to use the bottom card. And then that becomes a little bit of a reveal. Uh, best card control to use top or bottom, like third from top, uh, is fucking uh, the tilt, tilt, right? Look at that. I should have shown it beforehand, right? I should have shown it beforehand. But right there, you see that? You push it in. You push it in like it's um, your father experimenting on you, and uh, that's a good control for the third card from the top, right? Or you could do the uh, the bluff pass. That's a hot one. You could do a bluff pass. Have somebody pick a card, they look at it, you know, you deposit the deck, they return the card, and it happens to be third from the top. So that's that's a hot one. That works. Son of Simp. 
Do you like to use cherry control? I forgot how cherry control even looks like. I forgot how cherry control looks like. I think I have a video of my uh, my aunt doing it, but I would like to read my second to last comment, but I have a double ganger here. Just read all of my comments from the last four minutes. Okay, for a second, I thought that all the comments from Top Notch 3232 uh, was actually 2323 because 3, you changed the picture, but no, that's not the case. It's actually Top Notch 3232. Uh, what's up, Room? What's up, Beats? My name's not Room, though. My, my name's not Room. It's Gustavo. It's Gustavo. Uh, let's see here. Hold up. Somebody. Everyone drives a Mercedes, according to Child Pig Cake. Yeah, that's because I was retarded. I thought, hey, man, my mom has a car. Mercedes is a car. So um, my mom has a Mercedes. Your bluff pack lo looks fantastic. Well, the bluff pass, it's... Oh, you're talking about this move. You're talking about that move. <laughs> and I just killed it. You're talking about that move. Yeah, but the actual bluff pass is something I think I've talked about here before. I don't like doing this thing, right? I don't like doing that move. So you break it down into two steps. So you get a break here, right? Dribble. They pick a card. While they're looking at it, you just deposit it on top of the deck. So then they put it back from what they see. Nothing's changed. You're still holding apparently the stack. So then when you come back, that's when you do that little lift move with your thumb and dribble the cards. But unfortunately, you called attention to it, which is why I've been shitting on it. But that's, uh, that's how I prefer to do it. Talk about the dream you had last month about a pig cake community member. That's hysterical. That's never happened. That's never happened. The bluff pass could easily be replaced by a Svengali deck. And the spring could easily re be replaced by a, um, by a, what do you call this? Um, electric deck. By an electric deck. Bill Goldberg, I've talked about that on the stream and on uh, videos and on the uh, Pig Cake Magic Academy. Academy. I've talked about that before. I almost got you though. You almost got me. You almost got me because I was gonna say, yeah. How'd you know that I had a dream about um the the the, the pig cake community member, huh? Top notch. How did you know? Uh, penis penis pump. I found a variation on the Tinder pass that actually works. It's called the Tommy Tucker pass. Isn't Tommy Tucker a character from Family Guy? Isn't Tommy Tucker a character from Family Guy? Is that what it is? I think it might be Tom Tucker. Tom Tucker. Uh, shit. What was the one here? There was one here. I love your videos, but instead of... Oh, I'm going back here. I love your videos, but instead of... But having watched many of them, I'm now shocked to hear you say fuck and will be unsubscribing. That's hysterical. Uh, not trolling Tommy Tucker. I don't know who Tommy Tucker is, man. I don't know what that is. Uh, what's the Tinder pass? The Tinder pass is Daniel Cabrera's uh, variation on the pass uh, that I had an argument with. He's UME, Daniel from UME. Uh, we had a, a little bit of an argument. Did a little bit of the uh, argument because he's like, dude, I, I've been practicing the pass. All right, I've been killing it, but I added a little bit of something to it. I added a little move to it. And then I'm like, what? Hmm? You added a what to it? You added a move to your pass? And he goes, yeah, dude, I want to mix cardistry and, and, and magic. And then uh, he, he fucking did the pass. You know, and he does his pass, which he's been practicing and been doing well. And then he did one of these, uh, one of these after. One of that. Yeah, there's Daniel to defend it, saying it's the greatest pass ever. You know what? It is the greatest pass ever because I'm passing on it. All right? I'm passing on it. What the fuck is UME? What is UME? Beats, United Magicians Emporium, hashtag shill, hashtag buy cards from unitedmagiciansemporium.com. What? Huh? That's what it is. It's a cards, it's a card, card sale company ran by uh, your boy right there who said it's the greatest pass ever directly above you. You're not with the hip kids. Damn, Daniel, you're hip. You're hip now, dog. Uh, I actually stepped to Xavier Spade with my classic pass. Dude, that's like a like a fighting words. That's like a fighting mo It's like when somebody does that to you in middle school. Those are fighting words, JT. 
Uh, I have a trick where I need the card fourth from the bottom. Oh, right here. Look, you, you see this? Oh, this is the card you picked? Cool. That's cool. I wonder where that card's going. Oh, there it is. Fourth from the bottom. Let's say this is the card they happen to pick. Or let's say, okay, you know what? Let's see that this is the card they happen to pick, right? Oh, gee, I wonder where that card is going. I wonder where that card is going right here. Oh, it's going fourth from the bottom using a nice little bit of a spread call meme. See that? That's hot. Oh, you want it to go fifth from the bottom? That's what my mom said. That's what my mom told me right there, fifth from the bottom. So you could do a spread call. Oof. Oof. What was this? I've been on a 15 minute break the whole time I've been on stream. <laughs> Oh, that's hysterical, man. There's no other pass than a Tinder pass. X even uses it now. That's a good accolade. Daniel, see, you have even uh, Xavier doing your pass then. He's like the, the literal Jesus Christ of passes. His pass is the same pass that provided uh, bread and fish for the masses. So the Tinder pass is something that someone had invented on their own. Um... Do you want the meme answer or do you want the, the real answer? The slap pass. I don't know the fucking slap pass. Oh, is it this one? That one? Let me see if I could hide a pass doing that. <laughs> yeah, you can't hide up. You can't hide them. Um, you can't hide it there. I can't hide it. I'm sorry. My skills aren't sufficient enough. I was thinking if I palm the top half as I'm slapping and I do this, I could actually, um, <laughs> I taught X how to do it. We're secretly BFF now. The real one. Well, the real one is that Daniel has been practicing the pass for a couple months now and he's been, you know, progressing very well. And then he tells me that he added a little bit of swag to it, you know, a little bit of a move. And then he showed it to me, and I almost had, uh, uh, in Spanish, it's called una embolia, which is you have a fucking, um, when blood gets to uh, your fucking brain. You haven't seen the video of Brian doing that and Xavier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Brian was doing, uh, Brian was doing another thing. He was doing kind of like a, a fake one. Right, he was doing like a little bit of a fake routine using uh, some some heat, some heat. But I remember he put that video on his Instagram, and it fooled my ass. That's for sure. <laughs> Xavier's pass is what the Jewish holiday Passover celebrates. Moses saved all the firstborn virgins with it. I screen recorded Daniel's pass. That's hysterical. Well, you could use that as a performance for when he uh, it comes out on Magic Stream. You could use that. Look at this. Look at this extra virgin olive oil here. Let me see if I could do this one here. Here it goes. Hold up. Oh no, that packet's too fat. I wanted to do this. This thing. Oh fucking! I could do it. I promise. I could do it. Brian Tudor taught me how to do this personally. He came to my house and he came on me and then he taught me how to do this. Maybe it's uh, maybe I'm repressing it, which is why I can't even do it. There you go. There you go. Pick Hig knew a girl with a large gap in her teeth and he continues he continually wondered if her dentist uh, was named Moses. Well, maybe if um, his his dick's name was Moses, because that's what parted the teeth. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? I remember there was a trick by Rodney Reyes. Rodney Reyes. Uh, that was this. You pretty much control their card, and then their card would appear there. Uh, that was from School of Hard Knocks. Uh, but it was a card revelation where you would pretty much blow and then the card would appear there. Uh, I never liked it. And I always wondered how that would even work in person. How that would even 
work. You, you see that? How you, you could you actually use that as a card revelation? Imagine you go up to someone, you go, look at the pyramid, look at the Illuminati. Look, now your card's there. Now you're there. You go. Do you like my meme about Daniel being a virgin and disabled? I don't know if I, I don't remember that one. I don't remember that one. I got to check it. I work for a couple weeks and Piggy replaces me with Streamlabs. They are my nemesis. That's hysterical. Listen, man, I'm sorry, dude. All right, Streamlabs is uh, treating me better. All right, Streamlabs is doing that thing that uh, it, it, it treats me like a good girl. Smash like in this video if Piggy Shieldbot is wet. Is <laughs> Is better than Streamlabs. Yeah, I need to change. I wish I could change the name. I can't change the name, unfortunately. Ooh, hold up. I could do this. I could do some cardistry. There you go. I could do some cardisterist. Some cardister. Some cardister action here. Going back. Going to block. <laughs> I realize that you do have the power. You do have the power to uh, block that. Hold up. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that was awful. I'm sorry. I would have done it with the aces, but the aces are there. Uh, stream is not dead, man. And it hasn't died this entire time. I'm very surprised it hasn't. Uh, it's Rodney Reyes. Reyes, not racist. I don't know why you heard racist. Maybe it's because of my sp my spick accent any plans to start back the pig cake blog yeah from time to time i always want to i always want to um write some stuff up but uh probably going to change that for just uh something else on the website depends we'll see Sima should block anyone who demonstrates excessive 13 year oldness from now on this is for the 15 year old. Yeah, you could be uh, 15 and still demonstrate 13 year oldness. Usually one way that I know is uh, asking for a face reveal. That's one way. Uh, the other way is, is making excessive and unfunny, uh, Ill, cont Ill contextual, if that's even a term. I was gonna block top notch as a meme, but then I realized Piggy is the only one that could unblock. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What if I block the fake top notch? You know what's funny? I should, no, that would be crazy if I could see that. If I could see if, for example, Butcher shares the same email, maybe that might be the case. I love pig cake. Well, I love Paul Carpenters. My favorite types of carpenters are Pauls. Those are my favorite types of carpenters. Which is a fake one? It's uh, pig cake um, 2323. I'm old enough to have met Vernon still. Uh, I'm not over 13 mind-wise. That makes sense. That's actually a good thing, honestly. That's a good thing. Don't block the fake top-notch. He's basically the same as me. He just has a larger penis. Sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I wonder by the look in your eyes. What else is there to talk about, man? I need to end this thing relatively soon because uh, I'm working on a video for tomorrow. And I don't want to spend all night editing it. So is there any interesting topics for Ever Hold Your Peace that we're going to go over? Whether that's uh, the size and length and girth of my mailman's uh, erect erect penis. So... What are we what are we doing here guys? What's going on? What's going on in the magic community? What's coming out? All right, what's coming in? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh it's top notch with zero subs, fucking scrub. Yeah, you're right. You need some sort of a creepy pasta uh, uh creepy pasta commentary channel. Do you do any work in TV? I wish. I wish. That'd be dope. Uh, you could talk about the dope, dope gray shirt you're wearing in the next video. This isn't gray. This is black. This is a black shirt. I promise it's black. It's just the lighting. You see that there's a, my skin is not uh, that color. 
my skin is not that color so it's it's more pale because it's probably getting the black from this right here right Chris Ramsey failed to solve Excalibur that's kind of odd I haven't seen that video honestly I don't know how much he says it oh I'm saying honestly a lot well you should honestly go f fuck yourself Uh, I recently read about the magic chip named uh, Chloe Crawford. Isn't that a, that's a porn star. Cindy Crawford. Chloe Crawford. I don't know which one is a porn star and which one's a model. Uh, shit. Magicflix.com. Is that a thing? Magicflix.com. That would be a uh, tremendous. Whoever bought that domain. Chloe Crawford is a magician married to Colin Cloud. Hmm. I work with Chloe Crawford. I've said too much. Oh, with the Chloe. <laughs> people say, people say honestly are usually untrustworthy. I think I'm pretty trustworthy. My mom is, uh, my mom's mentioned, my mom's mentioned that I'm, I'm pretty honest. I'm up and up. I'm on the up and up. Uh, you should take a second. Hold up. You should take a second to acknowledge the OG piggas that have been supporting you for two years plus. Back when nobody knew how many subs you had, it was the equivalent of never wearing sweatpants. Damn, son. Damn, son. You're right, man. Shout out. Shout out to the OG piggas. The OG piggers. Y'all coming back. I didn't have my sub count on until I had 2K subs. Because, because what? Because I was embarrassed. I'm like, damn, dude, I have under 2K subs. That's embarrassing. That's like having a, a two-inch dicks hard. But instead, I, you know, through the the hard work and, and penis munching, that is um, my loins, and somehow through the amalgam of, of random chance and people that I found this, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful, man. I'm grateful to the, the OG piggers. 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 I can't, I can't say piggers. Uh, but on that note, on that note, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the stream here, man. I'm gonna end the stream here because uh, I need to finish doing some some hot stuff. Uh, but apart from that, man, new video coming out tomorrow at 10, 10 in the morning. Uh, my mom is telling me to tell you guys that you should try to flirt with male strippers. As often as you should try to diversify your...